Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you this awesome hair growth treatment that can add to your regimen for healthy hair growth. Now, if your hair is falling out, I promise you guys with this treatment, no hair is going to fall out. Honestly, it is super, super amazing at preventing excessive shedding and also minimizing hair breakage so if you're interested you definitely want to keep on watching and i suggest you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the instructions and also all of the steps when it comes to making this now let's hop right into the video so to begin with we are going to need one over ripe banana the riper your banana is the better guys just because it will give you a much smoother conditioner or treatment to work with so banana is super helpful when it comes to hair growth because it helps to deeply nourish it helps to soften and condition the hair it's rich in potassium and silica and these are super food for your hair so you want to cut your banana and put in a little bowl in which we're going to be blending later on so the next ingredient guys will be one ripe avocado uh, if it's overripe guys it's even better you know the avocado that you want to throw away definitely keep it for your diy now bear in mind that avocado is also very very beneficial for your health and also for high growth when actually eaten so you can add this to your salads as well so remember to also add this to your regimen um sorry to your diet so avocado is really really good um, because it helps to treat the hair it helps to moisturize repair and strengthen the hair it started in 2015 actually found that the minerals in avocado can help to seal the cuticle cells which can prevent hair from breaking so it's super amazing if you're experiencing lots of breaking excessive shedding you definitely want to consider trying this treatment out and i promise you guys you will definitely love it so after you cut your avocado pop it in the same bowl and we're going ahead and blending it so for this i'm using a hand blender but feel free to use whatever works for you make sure you blend really well until it's nice and smooth so after it's all blended guys we're gonna go and sieve it next so for this i will be using a um, recap but again feel free to use whatever works for you essentially Now, it's super, super important that you follow this step, guys, because if you don't, you are going to have debris of avocado and banana stuck in your hair, and it is a nightmare to get it all out. So definitely make sure that you take your time and you strain it properly. I'm going to show you the pulp that is left behind so you can have an idea of what will get stuck in your hair if you don't do this process. So look at that. This is essentially what I will be throwing away. But if I did not sieve it, that's what would have gone in my hair essentially. So next, we're going to go in with a cheap short bought uh, conditioner you can use whatever conditioner you have available at home this one here is the herbal essence one i got it for like i think it was one pound 89 um so any cheap conditioner would do essentially so just add that to your mixture your banana and avocado mixture as much as you need to basically for your hair so next we'll be going in with some honey Honey is a natural humectant, which means that it draws moisture from the atmosphere into your hair. So it's super great at giving your hair moisture and also keeping it in the hair for a long time as well. So I'm using about one tablespoon of honey. Um, so after that, guys, we're going to go in next with some oil. The oil that I will be using here will be my high growth homemade aloe vera oil. This is available on my website naturalvanesta.com. 
so feel free to check it out if you're interested it's made from fresh aloe vera leaves and this definitely helps a lot when it comes to st stimulating hair growth and just regrowing our bald spots or just thinning hair in general so feel free to check my website so i added two about two tablespoons of avocado oh sorry um aloe vera oil but feel free to use things like avocado oil olive oil rapeseed oil or any other oil that you may have sitting around even if it's just the diy oil that you've made from previous videos feel free to use that as well so go ahead and mix it all well until everything is nice and combined and this is what it looks like you have a really nice smooth textured um treatment which is super super nourishing for your hair for your scalp and really really moisturizing as well now just know that you can actually store that in your fridge for up to one week um, if you're not going to use it straight away just make sure that your fridge has a good or an appropriate temperature now i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how i use it on my hair so usually when i make it i'll just use it straight away um, and i usually make the exact amount that i need for my hair to be honest i just eyeball it and even when i you know is a little bit more than what it needed it's not actually uh, by a lot and I can just basically reapply the rest of the rest of my hair essentially so I'm working here in smaller sections my hair has been washed but not conditioned um, in most cases I don't usually condition my hair in the shower nowadays because I'm literally super busy and it does take me some time to get through all the things that I have to do during the day so it happens that sometimes when I wash my hair um, I condition it perhaps the next day or even a week later. I know it's not the best guys I don't advise you to do that. If you've got the time definitely do it straight after shampooing um, But on this occasion, I didn't get the chance to do that. So um, I'm just sort of deep conditioning my hair now um, So it is washed my scalp is nice and clean. It's just that my hair is dry from shampooing previously so I'm just gonna use this to restore moisture into my hair so I just did a bit of finger detangling just like you saw earlier and I'm just working this through my hair including my scalp and also your ends guys don't forget your ends is the oldest the driest part of your hair and the part that is most likely to break if you don't take care of it um, so always remember to you know take care of your ends essentially so after massaging that well onto the hair I did a bit of a twist and then I'm doing a bantu knot so that it does not dry out as I work on the next section of my hair and, I'm, and then I'm going to go ahead and repeat until the rest of my hair is completely done now notice that I'm applying it on dry hair and the moment this touches your hair guys you instantly instantly start to feel the moisture so it's really really good you don't need to apply any type of water or spray before using this so just use it directly on dry hair and you will instantly notice the moisture so it's really good like that um so because you're wondering how often to use these guys i would recommend using it once a week i tend to deep condition my hair once a week sometimes once every two weeks if i you know i have a busy schedule um that's usually what i do but i would recommend doing it once a week just because moisture is super super important when it comes to minimizing or reducing breakage so if your hair is constantly constantly breaking it is going to uh, you're not going to see a uh, length retention over time and that will discourage you because you might be thinking oh what i'm doing is not working but it's actually not because it's not working it's just because your hair is breaking faster than um, is actually growing so it's super important when you're trying to retain length to maintain moisture so essentially um, I finished applying it to my hair guys just like I showed you I finished off everything that I made um, but obviously if you have leftovers it's okay to pop in your fridge or even freeze it and then defrost it the next time you want to use it so I'm using a plastic bag here just to allow a bit of heat on my hair I'm going to allow this to sit for about 45 minutes to one hour while I do other stuff around the house and I'm going to go ahead and rinse it off with just warm water and this is what my hair looks like afterwards really nice and shiny it feels super super moisturized and detangling my hair afterwards was so 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 easy as well i mean like properly detangling and, and styling it was super nice and easy so i really love this um 
dip conditioner also the fact that it doesn't actually contain a lot of protein so if your hair is protein sensitive this will definitely help you out a lot um, so I hope that you guys go ahead and try this out and if you do please let me know in the comment section down below how you're getting on if you loved it or not and also don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed watching and subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you next time bye